BenchSci is all cloud-based, so all you need to access it is a web browser and the internet. To create an account, go to BenchSci.com and click Sign Up Free in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Enter your institutional email address and create a secure password. Once you've logged in, you can find antibodies and their publication data by searching for a protein target, a clone ID, or a catalog number. For example, the protein PCNA. You can also specify additional experimental context like technique, post-translational modification, or tissue, among others. You can do that either here or with the filters in just a minute. Then select an option from the drop-down list. You can either select the generic term to see all of the results for PCNA, or you can select a species-specific term, which indicates the species of the immunogen or protein target. BenchSize also prepared a proprietary alias database to include all the different ways that each protein target can be cited throughout the literature so that you can find all of the results in a single search. When you select your protein target, you'll be brought to the figures results. These are figures from published scientific papers, as well as vendors and third-party validators such as the Human Protein Atlas and ENCODE. The published figures can be sorted by either best match, publication date, or impact factor of the journal. However, there are still thousands of published figures here, so to quickly find only the most relevant data, you can apply our two sets of filters to narrow down these results based on your specific experimental context. Our figure usage data filters narrow down the results based on how an antibody was used across the published literature. These include technique, organism in which the experiment was conducted, tissue, cell type or cell line that was used in the experiment, and disease context. For example, I'd use these filters if I was looking for an antibody to use in an immunohistochemistry experiment of liver tissue. The second set of filters allow you to narrow down the results based on product specifications that are indicated by the vendor. For example, reactivity in various species. You can select for reactivity to multiple species at once. Let's say that for my experiment, I need an antibody to be reactive in both human and mouse. Furthermore, I need the antibody to be specific to the C-terminus of PCNA. This way, you can narrow down the results to only the most relevant information in seconds. In the next video, you'll see how to review these figures and the associated antibody results.